Hello everyone, welcome to our webinar. Uh, today we are talking about Citrix Ready Secure Remote Access. I am personally very excited to bring you this program today. Uh, I am joined today by two of my colleagues, Manju and Anil, who will take you through the technical details of the program. Before we begin, a few housekeeping details. We will be recording this webinar and we will send out a copy to you right after the webinar. Uh, so have a look out for it. Uh, there is also a, a formal Q&A session at the end of the webinar, but in case you have any questions during the webinar, any doubts, anything that you'd want to ask, please feel free to use the questions panel on GTW and we will be happy to answer those questions. In case you have problems joining the webinar, issues with audio, your screen, etc., please feel free to put those questions as well and we will try to resolve those. So let me begin with the agenda here. So we'll begin the webinar with a little introduction about Citrix Ready. I know most of uh, the audience is already Citrix Ready partners, but we have a few of the companies who are not yet Citrix Ready. Uh, so those of you who already know about Citrix Ready, please bear with me. Uh, we'll move on to talk about what remote access is. Is it a boon or bane for the industry? Then we'll talk a little bit about the secure remote access. How can Citrix help and how you together with Citrix can solve some of the customer challenges. Uh, we will culminate it with next steps of how you can join, a few incentives that we will be offering and of course the Q&A session in the end. So without further ado, let me begin. Uh, so Citrix Ready is a technology program that we run at Citrix. We basically have several product categories across various ecosystems, be it desktop, mobility, networking or cloud and across the industry verticals. At Citrix Ready, we verify our partner solutions and ensure their compatibility with Citrix technologies. Right? So once we integrate these solutions with our products, we showcase them out to our customer base. Uh, now it's a win-win-win situation for all of us. For our customers, it's basically an added trust that they have about these partner technologies. After our verification, we ensure that the, that the add-on technologies that they use on top of Citrix products, they'll have a seamless experience implementing these on their infrastructure, right? It gives them a power of choice, it gives them a variety, it gives them an ease of making their purchasing decisions. To our partners and our Citrix uh, corporate team as well, we provide a higher level of engagement with Citrix. Uh, once our partners join this program, we run several lead generation activities with them. We try and basically promote the integrated solution out in the market and we do this together as a team. Of course, partners can leverage the Citrix branding once they're Citrix ready and it provides them a higher visibility on various the properties as well as events. Of course, on Citrix's side, it helps us compete better in the market we're able to showcase partner solutions and how they're complementing Citrix technologies, right? Once a partner is onboarded onto a program, we have a marketplace called the Citrix Ready Marketplace where all the integrated solutions are showcased, right? So this is a go-to place for all Citrix customers when they want to add on technologies to their infrastructure. Moving on to the Citrix Ready program, let me introduce you to my colleague, Manju. He has the technical team at Citrix Ready. So over to you, Manju. Hey, thanks, Rubel. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Manjunath Agali. Uh, I'm the technical marketing manager in Citrix Ready program. I've been with Citrix for over two years now. Well, I have to admit, uh, it's been a pleasure working here. And I'm here, to, I'm here today to introduce the Secure Remote Access Program. So before we deep dive into, uh, into Secure Remote Access Program, let's understand what is a remote access and where do we need it. So a remote access is the ability to get access to a computer or to a network from a remote distance and be able to access from different types of endpoints, right? So I know everyone on this call would like to work from their home, spending their precious time uh, with your family and friends, and more importantly, if you have the freedom of choosing the device, what would we expect as an individual? 
So why do we love remote access? So let's take an example uh, in a real life scenario. Uh, employees or people generally working from home. Uh, employees or people generally like to work from home or from different branch offices or using their home internet and also people who like traveling may need access to corporate network. So by the end of the day, we are addressing the office space of space needs and we have happier and satisfied customers, employees I mean. So not only this, uh, people like to get access to office network from any device via some kind of technology, uh, be it VPN, SSL VPN, or even from any application virtualization platform like Zenap and Zen Desktop. So this will help IT and any company to reduce cost and simplify uh, device management. In a way, this will also empower people to work. So with the remote access facility provided to all the employees, the amount of money you spend upfront to acquire new hardware or software is reduced. And also, the amount of money you spend to actually use and manage and maintain them is also reduced. So thus, we are saving both capital and operational expenses. Overall, to put together, with the remote access ability, uh, it helps IT to scale rapidly and cost effectively. And it also controls ID costs in purchasing hardware, software, and telecom. So let's see on the other side. So what are the risks involved in remote access? So while people expect instant and convenient access to the data and apps on any device they use, along with the rich experience they are used to, business also need to be able to assist in some risk factor. Let's, let's take an example of increased uh, data security concerns. So while employees accessing the internal resource from their personal device, there needs, to, there needs to be an increase in safety and security access to the network. So this is a big challenge. And again, drawbacks of VPNs, right? So when people connect to the VPN, we are exposing data outside corporate network, thus involving a security risk. VPNs also restrict user experience, and every employee cannot be granted with the same level of access and freedom to connect to the corporate network. And finally, uh, VPN requires additional training to employees as well. So these are the biggest drawbacks uh, in giving access to corporate network via VPN. And when, and when it comes to security and compliance, IT has to provide an encrypted delivery of applications and desktops to all the employees and third parties enforcing network access control and segment networks for compliance and security and deliver the highest level of service uptime and performance all the time. Also, IT has to control the identity and access, which means IT has to configure the control, controls needed to ensure appropriate levels of access are provided based on the user, endpoint, network, and security profile of every individual inside and outside the organization. So these are the biggest challenges involved in remote access. So having said the advantages and disadvantages of the remote access, let's see what we need for a secure remote access. Now before we move on to secure remote access, let's see the security strategy. So this strategy should protect the organization's most valuable assets and data from loss of, loss of theft, right? So I, I believe everyone agrees. So not only that, uh, Security should also facilitate compliance and regulatory enforcement while preparing for new and emerging requirements. And also, uh, security should allow people to access the resources and tools they need to work for full productivity. And security should also en uh, ensure the availability and performance of apps and data from any network connection. And security should also reduce the risk, risk associated with uh, distractions, whether from planned activities or unplanned activities. To implement all the above strategies, we need multiple products to come together and provide a secure remote access. So on top of this uh, strategy today, uh, most, user, most users expect access to all the resources they need to remain productivity, productive, wherever they are and whatever the device they happen to be using at that time. Moreover, uh, business management share these expectations for their employees and as well as themselves. So all in all, as a result, uh, in today's organization, we need a solution that not only delivers remote access for all the users, devices, locations, and data, but also ensures a consistent, high-definition, 
access experience and maintain the highest level of security and data protection. So with that, uh, we can say all we need is a secure way of remote access, right? So now before we jump on to see how secure remote access empower IT industries, let's see what our customer needs today. So Citrus conducted an internal survey of customers in July 2016 to find out the top application security business priorities. Basically, how priority, how specific threats are changing security operations and impact of cloud. Some of our findings revealed that more than half of Citrus customers surveyed are, are changing the way their security ops team operate because of their increase in ransomware, targeted malware, and phishing attacks. So just over 48% said that end-to-end -end production of applications and data was most important to protecting their always on business, while 56% are looking more closely at how to simplify management and monitoring of SSL certificates. So on the screen, you can see some of the survey findings. So I just highlighted a few uh, survey findings. So uh, mainly Citrus customers, Citrus, our customers mainly uh, say uh, management, visibility, and analytics as top app security, uh, app security business priority for them. And 49% of the Citrus customer name end-to-end -end production as most important for securing apps and data. And surprisingly, over 75% of customers said malware and ransomware are most concerning attack vectors. And the last two points uh, says about 52% of Citrus customers use or plan to use secure email gateway technology to guard against cyber threats. And 51% of Citrus customers say increased cyber attacks have changed security ops in last three months. So this is a survey result that we got recently when Citrus conducted this survey. So based on this, let's now move on to uh, see how, how does secure remote access empower our customer. So secure remote access should empower our customer by providing more flexibility and simple secure access to apps and desktop from anywhere. It should also enhance the business quality, speed, efficiency, productivity, and should help in raising the cost as well. So it should also empower the mobility and bring your own device usage. Not only that, uh, it should also deliver an optimized user experience with 100% availability and accessibility to the corporate network anytime from any device. And finally, security should maintain information security and compliances as well. So, so having said all these things, now let's see how Citrix can help in providing secure remote access to apps and desktop. So Citrix provides a complete solution for delivering secure remote access, which is built on desktop, uh, Zen Desktop, and other Citrix technologies like Receiver, Netscaler, Gateway, Hexbase Technologies, and Storefront. So speaking about the Citrix Zen Desktop, uh, as we all know, Zen Desktop is an industry-proven flexible application and desktop virtualization platform that delivers the best possible user experience on any type of device, even the most challenging network conditions. Not only that, it also offers a range of vital virtual desktop options, like including a remote PC access, which enables secure remote access to any physical device, PC desktop, and a full range of media technologies enhanced for centralized desktop image management while providing a highly secured, highly personalized user experience. So speaking about Citrix Receiver, uh, the Citrix Receiver is a universal thin client runs on virtually on any device operating platform, including Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS, and Android. This is one client. Uh, user need access to their Windows desktop from any device, including tablets and mobile devices. And speaking about the Netscaler Gateway, uh, Netscaler Gateway is a secure application desktop and data access solution that gives administration administrator granular application desktop and data level control while empowering users with remote access from anywhere. With Nescala Gateway feature, IT administrators gain a single point of management for controlling access and limiting actions within sessions based on user identity and endpoint devices. So Storefront, again, uh, Storefront provides uh, self-service subscription to all applications and desktops with an enterprise app store, giving employees convenient access to all the applications they need and, and are authorized to use. So, uh, and 
At, at last, we speak about X-ray technology. So, CITIS has been performing uh, uh, X-ray uh, perfect technology definition user experience technology over the last 15 years to provide a local PC experience even when the desktop is accessed remotely. This is a big challenge, right? So, X-ray technology provides multiple WAN optimization technologies which improve performance over challenging network conditions and on lower bandwidth requirements as well for remote access to rich video, real-time audio and graphics intensive applications running on the physical desktops and and multiple compression technology optimizes application performance as well. So, so on the slide you can, you can also see uh, both Gartner and IDC have named Citrix as a leader in app and desktop virtualization because Citrix is the only vendor with an array of virtualization technology to suit any use case, including the ability to deliver secure remote access to access apps and desktop from any device, anytime on any cloud. So with all the above information and Citrix providing a secure access to apps and desktop, now let's move on to the main objective to see how we can leverage your solutions to enhance secure remote access. So I'd like to welcome Anil from my team to provide you more information on the next steps. Anil, over to you. Hi, Manju. Thanks. Thanks very much. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Anil Kumar. Uh, I'm, a, I'm part of the Six Ready uh, technical marketing team, uh, leading the uh, validations for uh, uh, networking and security products. I've been in the company for uh, over an year now, and, and it's it's been an awesome experience. Uh, prior to Citrix, I worked in uh, uh, most of the Citrix's uh, products, uh, starting uh, with the admin role, uh, moving into a consultant role, and now, now at Citrix, leading the uh, uh, networking ecosystem in, in the Citrix Ready program. Uh, so, uh, like Manju mentioned, uh, remote hack, remote access has a lot of advantages, uh, but uh, it has its own unique risks in terms of uh, securing data over private and public. Uh, networks. So we at Citrix believe uh, that a great user experience goes hand in hand with security. Uh, our solutions are built on security best practices uh, designed to protect what matters, that's data, applications, and usage, uh, while allowing choice, uh, freedom, and seamless experience for users in every scenario. So built on a foundation of confidentiality, integrity, and availability, uh, Citrix best practices for secu uh, secure remote access comprises of uh, five broad categories which must be considered to ensure uh, uh, protection and productivity in every user scenario. Uh, the first comes uh, identity and, and access. So preventing unauthorized access to applications, data, and the network is a fundamental security requirement. Uh, attackers are usually focused on uh, stealing, stealing users' credentials. Uh, a single stolen username or password combination can be enough to unlock uh, multiple sites and services. And let's say a careless action on a personal social media account can put an organization's flagship product uh, or service at risk. So managing user access becomes the uh, primary goal for organizations uh, when they embrace some secure remote access. And uh, and we are uh, and and to uh, solve this problem, uh, it's it's really important uh, uh, that that our customers embrace our partner products, uh, who really provide uh, uh, two-factor and factor multi multi-factor authentication uh, solutions, uh, out-of-band authentication, uh, certificate-based authentication solutions, and and uh, and also embrace. Uh, solutions which provide advanced access and authorization levels uh, once once the customer has access to uh, or or has logged into the corporate network. Uh, so the second uh, classification uh, and and one of the main classifications is, is network security. Obviously, uh, so the growing role of mobility in modern enterprise makes uh, remote access a core IT function, uh, but but it's also a prime vector for attackers. Uh, seeking entry into organizations network. Uh, the consequences of a breach can be uh, devastating. Uh, the compromise of a business partner's network can lead directly to an attack on the organization itself, uh, offering attackers a weak uh, link to exploit as a network gateway. 
Uh, once inside the attacker, we'll seek uh, privilege escalation and then move laterally to core components such as uh, domain controllers itself. Uh, in one of the highly publicized breach, uh, attackers were able to communicate from network store devices such as uh, point of sale registers uh, directly into the core network. And, and to solve these problems, we, uh, we really want our customers to embrace uh, SSL VPN solutions, um, go, uh, embrace uh, network seg segmentation technologies using uh, software-defined network, uh, apply network firewalls, etc. Uh, so the next category is uh, application security, and applications are available in, uh, in, in various forms. Uh, we have we have mobile applications, we have web applications, we have uh, 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 we, ha we have legacy applications. So all these applications have their own uh, uh, own uh, own kind of uh, own risks. Uh, so on mobile devices, obviously there are natively installed applications which face risks such as uh, insecure data storage, uh, data transmission, and sensitive data leakage. And on the same smartphones, we have uh, uh, business apps installed, and and uh, and it's really important. Uh, that, uh, that 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 these applications are are made secure, and so is uh, web applications which are uh, vulnerable due to poor security uh, configuration, incomplete patch management of underlying operating system, vulnerabilities on the uh, coding language, etc. Uh, even legacy or unsupported application risk attacks uh, that tamper with fields, overflow buffers, or perform uh, command injection and uh, remote code execution. So, so we really need uh, uh, partner solutions like web applications, scanners, secure browsers to uh, to eliminate these kind of. Uh, the fourth category is, uh, is data security. Uh, data is obviously very important uh, for corporates. Um, and uh, the, uh, data could be of all kinds, like legal documents, R&D data, contracts, uh, marketing and sales information, entertainment media, or or any other form of intellectual property, uh, which is vital for a car, vital for an organization. And and thousands of known breaches in recent years have resulted in millions of compromised uh, customer and patient records. Uh, many with personally identifiable information, including credit card numbers, uh, social security numbers, date of, date of birth, addresses, health records, uh, government and veteran records, etc. Uh, so, so we really need to uh, make sure that uh, uh, that that data is secured. Uh, use advanced uh, antivirus and uh, uh, malware protection solutions. Uh, use encryption-enabled devices. Uh, to, to keep uh, security uh, intact, and and finally we move on to uh, uh, monitoring and response. Uh, so so no matter even if you have the best secured environment in your organization, uh, preventing a breach by uh, advanced and persistent threat act actors is is nearly impossible, and and this makes security monitoring and detection absolutely critical. Uh, so organizations must train uh, higher visibility into the network and maps using uh, log collection, uh, analysis and escalation, uh, filter out noise from salient information, uh, detect abnormal connection attempts and identify indicators of attack and, and compromise that can be used to aid uh, incident response. Uh, so for this, we need uh, we need uh, companies to really embrace advanced uh, monitoring and, and alerting uh, solutions in their environment. Uh, so uh, coming back, so the pre uh, basic premise of uh, uh, the Citrix Ready Secure Remote Access Program is to integrate uh, partner products with Citrix's core products, uh, which really increase or elevate the level of security in any or uh, all of the five categories mentioned earlier. Uh, this this really gives our customers that uh, added confidence to use our technologies together, so that enterprises can embrace uh, secure remote access and really take advantage of all the benefits offered through remote access. So, so how do you participate in and then set secure, uh, uh, secure remote access program? Uh, so, if your product uh, falls in any of these. Uh, five categories, uh, which is identity and access, uh, network security, app and data security, uh, monitoring and response. And uh, 
And if you product is compatible with uh, our Citrix's products, uh, which is an apps and desktop, uh, Netscaler, share file, uh, Zen Mobile, uh, and, and our uh, Netscaler SD WAN. Um, uh, just, just sign up to our uh, 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 registry of company and your contact in our uh, in our landing page. Uh, provide your information. Uh, the next step would be to uh, uh, demonstrate how your solution really integrates with our uh, Citrix's products and uh, uh, show how how it can really uh, build that extra layer of security for for securing more taxes. And and once the product is uh, qualified. Uh, we, we can really run joint joint promotions together, and and to uh, and to explain you more about uh, what are the uh, joint promotions we are offering, um, I'm uh, uh, I'm inviting Google once again to uh, explain the marketing benefits. Thanks, Anil. Thanks a lot. Appreciate a great overview. Thanks, Manju. Uh, so rightly said, uh, uh, you know, Citrix's key uh, key priorities is secure remote access and you know if we can integrate it well with partner technologies it gives us a win-win situation for everyone right uh, so I know it's important to integrate these solutions and uh, kind of build onto that security feature it's also equally important to showcase this out in the market so, so we understand that uh, to do that we have a few incentives uh, so once uh, your company registers for this program and successfully uh, finishes all the requirements, we'd be working on a white paper on each of these integrated solutions. You also have an exclusive landing page where this white paper will be published and promoted by us. So again for this white paper we're gonna, uh, we are going to involve an agency who will help us uh, to kind of draft out the whole white paper. Of course uh, a technical person from your team as well as our team will be involved in uh, messaging uh, this out to the market. right? And this will again uh, be promoted to a large uh, targeted audience so we can generate some leads for you. right? Apart from that white paper we have a few additional marketing benefits that we are offering with this. There will be an exclusive lead generation campaign that we run again to get some qualified leads uh, for you around this program. We will also run a, bot a podcast. It is a very uh, uh, a conversational uh, style of a podcast that we host. Uh, and it's actually hosted by Douglas Brown from DABCC.com. If any of you have uh, visited his website, his, his podcasts are fairly popular and, and, and great way to kind of get the word out into the industry. Apart from that, we'll also create an infographic, uh, which is basically a very handy collateral. We try to highlight uh, your solution, how it builds on top of uh, the Citrix Core technologies and how it integrates well uh, with our products. And again, this will be promoted from our end. It can also serve as a handy uh, print collateral if you're ever participating in an event or conference, which you can hand out to your prospects. Right. So these are a few of the benefits. Uh, coming to the next steps, you can actually sign up uh, at the URL that is mu must be visible on your screen. So it's bit.ly slash CR hyphen remote access. Right. This is a landing page we've exclusively created for this program. Uh, at the bottom of the page you'll find a short form. So just fill in your details there and, and submit. Uh, we'll be in touch with you soon afterwards uh, to take things forward. Uh, we've put a deadline of 10 September 2016. Uh, this is not to submit uh, your information, your contact information. Uh, this is a deadline for our, till when we should be uh, able to finish uh, the whole verification and and complete this program. After this date is when we're moving on to create the white paper and initiate promotions. Right. Uh, so with that, I think we have a lot of time uh, for Q and A. So so this is your time, guys. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the questions panel. I think uh, we have a few questions coming in. Uh, Manju, there's a question uh, which says, I'm not a Citrix ready partner yet. How do I qualify for this program? Well, that's a good question. So uh, if you're not a Citrix ready partner, uh, you can definitely participate in this program. Uh, the first step for you would be to submit the application. 
become a Citrix Ready partner, uh, get your solution verified as Citrix Ready. And then you can use the credentials to uh, join this program and get, get your solution uh, demonstrated again uh, to meet the criteria that we define now. And that's how you participate in this program. So once you submit your application, once we have process Citrix Ready, you can participate in this program. So you still have good good amount of time, so you can definitely uh, uh, submit the application. We can send out the links to you guys, so if, uh, you can send out the link to you uh, how to register your company and how to become a Citrix Ready partner and how to move forward from there. Any other questions, Ruben? Yeah, thanks, Manu. That answers it. Yes, uh, quite a few coming in. Uh, so what is Citrix product on monitoring and response? Let me take this one. <coughs> Uh, so the whole uh, idea of the monitoring and response classification were uh, intended to partners who build uh, products and solutions uh, which monitor Citrix's uh, products like Synapse and the Stop, uh, Netscaler. So, so if, there's a, if there's a server going down or if there's an alert generated from the Netscaler or even if there's, uh, uh, if there's a threat which is uh, which uh, uh, which the administrators have not detected, but but uh, any any of your automated solution has detected. So so we are uh, mainly targeting uh, uh, the monitoring and alerting solutions, uh, which which can really integrate into uh, uh, Citrix's infrastructure and uh, uh, alert and respond to threats uh, uh, on a timely basis. Great, thanks thanks for that. <coughs> Uh, another question, can you give an overview of the cost associated and this is somebody from a partner who is already a Citrix Ready partner and already verified with us. So well, uh, uh, definitely there is no cost involved in this as you are already a Citrix Ready partner. So all the benefits that you get out of this program are actually a benefit uh, for joining and participating in this program. So to answer the question. Uh, associated to, to join this program or to participate and you know get 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 the benefit of marketing activities or marketing assets. Thanks Manu. Uh, question from SMS password, Dennis. Can Citrix Ready partners get special trial licenses for Citrix products? Yeah, definitely. So so uh, as you might be aware already, so as part of as part of the Citrix Ready program technical benefit, uh, you already uh, and you you already get several number of licenses for Citrix products, be it uh, Zenab, Zen Desktop, Netscaler, CloudBridge, or any product. So uh, you will definitely get licenses for this validation as well. Okay. Uh, a question from Infinite Ops. Uh, they are still in beta stage, and they they still have their templates for Citrix Zenab and Zen Desktop in process. Can we fast track fast track their process for verification? So, uh, not sure what exactly you mean by beta status, but uh, if you if you mean to say that your application or solution is deployed in beta environment but not in production, uh, it's still okay. Uh, we can definitely uh, consider your application, and we can con we can see how it works and how it provides an extra security layer on uh, to provide that extra security layer to the customer. So, uh, we can definitely consider that. Uh, get in touch with us after this call or something later. Uh, we can work it out and we can see what best we can do uh, to get your solution set as Citrix Ready Verified first and then you can enroll for this program. Great. Thanks, Rajiv. Uh, another one. I have everything set up. How do I demonstrate the joint solution? Is it through a live demo or a phone call? So that's a good question again. So, so as we said in the call, uh, the first step would be uh, to register yourself in our landing page. So we get the contact details and we will reach out to you uh, personally and schedule a call for the demo. So when we reach out, we will probably ask you to provide a couple of time slots which are convenient for you and us and then we can schedule a demo and that's, an, that's how you can, that's how, or that's when you can demonstrate your solution. And over the call, uh, we will ask you to demonstrate uh, certain aspects which really, uh, which which is actually the criteria for approving your, approving your solution as uh, Citrix Ready and approving the solution as a solution which provides secure access, secure mode access. So to answer your question again, uh, 
we will reach out to you once you register and we will create a call for the demonstration. So essentially they can do it over a phone call? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, another question, I have a hardware product which provides encrypted storage but works with Zen desktop. Am I eligible? Not a problem, definitely you are eligible. So you are providing an encrypted solution for the hardware device, you are definitely eligible. I think those are all the questions we have. I think we can wait for a couple of minutes to see if we get more questions. Sure, sure. So that if you have <coughs> any other questions, please feel free to type them in. Uh, so I guess that's all the questions we have. Uh, so guys, if you have any further questions later on, <clears throat> please feel free to email us. And as I said, uh, the link to our landing page is being displayed on your screen. Please take a look at it. There are some more details on the program itself. And as I mentioned, there's a form at the bottom of the page where you can fill in the details. And that's about it then. Thank you. Thanks for your time, Manju. Thanks, Anil. Thanks, Rubal. Thanks, Rubal. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye.